Because we're a little bit ahead on time, we are able to cover a bonus feature called search folders. Now, as I have shown you, I recommended using categories to organize your inbox in lieu of creating multiple folders. Having many, many folders, one for each project, one for each client, can become counterproductive and can easily become overwhelming. Simplicity is key. So for that reason, the same goes for categories. I don't want to get carried away with creating a different category for every type of email I get. Well, that's where search folders comes in. Search folders allows me to view email with certain attributes that I define without having to create a separate folder or change the way that I have my messages sorted or categorized. For example, a search folder can show me all my unread mail, or all mail that I've flagged for follow-up, or all mail from a certain mailing list, or from my boss, or from my top client, or even all mail that I've assigned to a specific category. I use search folders to segregate certain email in my inbox that I don't want to create a folder for or go through the trouble of moving into its own folder. I also use it to view all the mail that I've tagged with an Outlook category. Now search folders are so incredibly easy to set up and customize you can do it on the fly so let's just take a quick look I think you'll find it incredibly useful. To create a new search folder Right click on the search folder and select new search folder. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control shift P. So here I can select from one of the default search folders such as unread mail, important mail, mail from a specific person or group, mail with specific keywords. You can really get detailed. But to show you how simple it is to set up, I'll choose one of the default options, mail with attachments, and then say OK. Here, it will display all mail with attachments without requiring me to change my inbox sort criteria, which I would have to do in the past by clicking on the headings of my inbox. Let's do another, but this time, let's create a custom search folder. And so I'll select that option and click the Choose button to customize my criteria for this search. In the Name field, I'll enter in the appropriate name for this folder. In this case, I want to create a folder that captures all my communications with my client, Morgan Stanley. So next, I'll click the criteria for the new folder. This is where I could really customize my search by words, by importance, etc. But for now, I'll show you a shortcut where you can capture every email from a specific company. And to do that, I'll type in the From field the at symbol and the company name Morgan Stanley as it would appear in the in the company's email address. Under the more choices tab I can even narrow down the search by email I've tagged with a specific category or even every item that might have been flagged by someone else which is quite handy because it'll show me those items that my client deemed important to them. So when I'm done making all of the customizations to my custom search folder. I'll click OK. And Outlook will then create the folder and add it to my folder view. The advantage of using search folders to view specific mail is this. They look and act nearly identical to regular Outlook folders, but they do not actually move the email from where they've been filed. And of course, it also enables you to quickly find specific emails on the fly particularly those that you haven't categorized or pre-organized into separate folders.